Um, <clears throat> all right. Today we're going to, you are going to do a, some translation. Okay? Very short. Just two verses from Sutra. Doni, do. We just first we do one verse and then okay? It's very famous verse. In Jebushibusre, very beautiful. So you must translate beautifully. Okay? Beautiful English. Not clumsy English. Not uh, ugly English. No. Someone once said to me, he said, you know, many translations from a Tibetan um, Buddhist text into English, they read like a manual. Do you know manual? Manual is like, for example, if you want to operate a, a, this machine, the teb, this teb, there's a book, huh? Or if you want to operate video or computer or anything, there's a book. This book is called manual. And it's, you read it, and it's in about ten different languages, right? And there, it's all very, you do this, you do this. But it's, there's no... It's very mechanical language, mechanical, like engineer's manual. So if this is uh, poetry, it should be poetry in English, if you can. I, it's not easy, but anyway, we, we'll try it. Actually, it's from uh, Papa Kunjo. Tala Sanskriti Ketala 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 Sanskriti so Zhong in um, in Sanskrit uh, is Dharani. Dharani. Okay, and you write it like this. Um, so it's clear, Sabu Mindua. Ah, oh. it's clear. Anyway, D H the it's not clear. Can you know? The clear younger do it. Sabo younger do it. Till I sell them in do it. It's not clear. <laughs> With or without glasses is not clear. Okay, that's better. So, you if the you you must use these diacritics. Okay, if the A is short or long, you must say this. Some, the A is long, right? Ah, the I is long, E. And the N is, uh, is, uh, it is Na. It's a, in Sanskrit, there are two Na, Na and Na, right? So, please, uh, you know, you know, write, is don't write, for example, don't write like this. Don't write acharya. Write something like Takanjina. Ah, acharya. Ring board, be. Ah, I can't remember. Did that tatara be? Anyway, it. Ah, acharya. Ah, acharya. Something. You must. If it's long, you must use this. We call diacritics. We call diacritics. If ordinary book, it doesn't matter. But if you're doing academic standard, it's very important that you put these diacritics in there. You know, there are so many that, you know, like... Uh, uh, 
this one, Prajna, you know, Prajna, Prajna, and then um, if it's long or short, and sometimes the ma is ma with, you know, like that, ang is ang, ang, hmm? and if you want to write om, om, ah, No, 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 <laughs> Oh, Ah, the ring bo Also, this has this one here, I think. Ah, ah, right. Anyway, you you have to learn these, so when you write, that they are proper. Otherwise, it's uh, it's disrespectful to Sanskrit, right? It's disrespectful, you know? No one disrespects your Tibetan language, so you must respect, you know, you know in, in English when we, if we pronounce French words, we try to pronounce them like French people, you know? We don't say paranse, we say fr- <laughs> you know, in, uh, in old in Dharamsala, when people say France, they say paranse. You know, because they can't say France. But we try to pronounce it. So out of respect, you must try to do this. So this is um, best to put Tarani. So this is about faith, okay? So this text. Deba ngundro mata kepate yonten tamse sungsing pelwa che dokpe selsing chuo namle drill deba dele tongkir sunjin inja so, here you go. Deba. Try and translate line by line. Deba. Ngundro. So, Ngundro, many translations from Ngundro. How you translate Ngundro? Preliminary. preliminary. Then, Shamba? Only preliminary? There are many words for Ngundro. Preliminary. Um, pre. Requisite, Karisa, uh, precede, preceding. Now, preliminary and prerequisite are different. Preliminary means not so ma imba. Di ngula je, ngula je ini so ma re, so sana jela yung re. So preliminary says that introduction or preparation. Ra. Prerequisite means ngunare ini inji means the gogre de mena shemba yonga mari you have to have requisites and a need ra. So this is different. Preliminary and prerequisite is different. Preliminary means not so important, but you do it first. For example. You give introduction. This preliminary. So mares. That's the meaning. For example, you know, in preliminary. If you have, if you go and have a meal in an English restaurant, you have three courses. And the first one is that little thing we call starter. Then the main course. This starter is just like preliminary. You don't need it, but it's there. It's a preliminary. So if you do some kind of. Um, when you do uh, uh, puja, you do, uh, first of all, you do gyamdo, semge. This is preliminary, right? So, when the new translation, what you're saying is that people do this ngundro, you know, this chak boom and doji semba boom da, mandar poya boom, 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 boom. This is called ngundro. This is translated as preliminary. But, I don't know. Prerequisite is much more necessary. Prerequisite means you must have this first. Otherwise, niba yongo mare. So there is different. Preliminary just means so, not the main thing. Preliminary discussion. Preliminary talk, right? But you don't say prerequisite talk. No, no, no. Prerequisite. If you want to become a monk, or a nun, first of all, you must become Getsul, then Gelong. Getsul is a prerequisite for becoming a monk. It's not a preliminary. 
<laughs> Getsul is not a preliminary. Getsul is prerequisite. It's important. So there's difference, right? Proceed or proceeding just means we'll not draw. That's all. Proceed. Monday proceeds Tuesday. Tuesday proceeds Wednesday. Like this. So all have the same meaning, ngondro. But emphasis is different. You must choose here. Ta deba ngondro re. Ma ta ama ama he means ama. Ama nanshi re. Deba ama nanshi re. So mother. Is mother a preliminary, a prerequisite, or proceeding? <laughs> you decide. Kepa. Again, kepa. In Lamrin Chema, we had generate, create, uh, produce, mm. develop. What does a mother do? Does he, pro does he create a baby, produce a baby? What is the correct word here? Debasama, debasana, ngondore, ama nangshire, kainsana, kiegere, debati kiegere, kari kiegere, sana, pana puku. Ama nangshin puku kegere, debas and a yunten kegere da, like this. Kiaba te. Yunten, how you translate yunten? Huh? Qualities, yes? Not all qualities are good. Yunten is in a yakwara, yunten is a gewara. But in English, the word quality is not good, you know? You can have uh, anger, that's a bad quality. You can have desire, that's a bad quality. Compassion is a good quality. Quality loves ni ore. Virtue, or you can just say good qualities or excellent qualities. Virtue is a quality. Yunde, kong mila yunde yo kong yunde mongbo yare. Quality is good, but I think some people just say qualities, but some people say no, no, no. You have to say excellent qualities or good qualities. Tam shi sung 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 is what guard or protect or both. What's the difference between guard and protect? You know, what do the, uh, the people who, who, when His Holiness goes out, and they are these people, you know, they have sunglasses in there. <laughs> what are they doing? Are they guarding or protecting His Holiness? Not protecting Him? <laughs> you can both, huh? You say bodyguard, right? Bodyguard. Yeah, right, bodyguard, right? Protect. But what if you, um, if you are, uh, if you have uh, a mazana, if, you, if you've got a bad wound, right, mm -hmm. and you, you cover it up, you cover it up with some bandage, what are you doing to it? You're guarding or protecting? protecting. You're protecting, not guarding. It's a little difference, Marabe. You, you protect your wound. Protect means that you take care, make sure nobody. Guard is this, guarding, you know, these people in Buckingham Palace, these, this, we call them guards or sentry. They stand in 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 in, in our India. Used to, there used to be these in front of a bank, Mulkong. There's this Indian with this old-fashioned gun. They stand there like this, right? You know, half asleep usually. <laughs> they are guarding the bank, protecting the bank, possibly, possibly. In America, you can carry a gun. Why? Rang sung zeba. How you say? Self protection. You protect yourself. You're not guarding yourself, are you? So guard and protect. So in this word, you know, there's these uh, sungma, like mahakala and uh, you know pelangamo and these. Are they protectors or guardians? Protectors, yeah. Guardians, okay. So sungma chukyong is usually translated as. Dharma protector, but some people say Dharma guardian. Dharma protector, Chu Kyong, and Kyongwa and Sungwa is different in Tibetan, no? Eh? A little different? Marbe. In English, guard and protect is a little, little different, but not too different. So, Yunten Sungwa, you think, well, is it guard or protect? Xing Pelwa Je, Pelwa is to develop, develop. Increase, grow, make bigger. Yunten. Do you grow your qualities? Do you increase them? Do you develop them? You think. What is best here? Dokpa. Dokpa is not called dokpa. 
Doubts, yeah. Sel, we had Sel yesterday. Sel is dunge selva, and he said evade suffering. No, I don't think so, not here. And if you have doubt, what do you do? You, yeah, remove, get rid of, yeah. Um, I'm not sure, I think somewhere I saw chores in a, maybe this dunge chore. I don't know what this chore is. I don't know. So, what do you do? We don't know. So, you just leave it, you know. <laughs> Maybe you put footnote. Because it's not. Here it just says chu namle drill. Drill means what? Drill ma. Huh? Liberate. If someone falls in the water, in the river, and what do you do? You're not liberating them, are you? What are you doing to them? They're falling in the water. Ah, you have. Save. Rescue. Save, yeah. Liberate from prison or from. You know, liberate from someone from a from from prison or from someone who's captured. That's liberate. It, sometimes liberate. Tara is sometimes called the one who liberates, right? So sometimes liberate, sometimes save, sometimes rescue. Huh? Is a river, right? Chu is a river. Deba delek. How is one delek? Tashi delek. Delek. So na karere. Deva dan lek po ni re. Chikre ni re. De lek sana, dewa sana sem dewa, lu dewa, lek sana kare, lek po, lek po, lek kare, de lek sana kare kugudu. De lek, de lek, de lek tronke, de lek. So, you know, the word happiness doesn't always mean mental happiness. You know, we can say, oh, Sarnath is a happy place, it means kibuto. In Tibetan, you say that's such a kibu roa, sem kibu, such a kibu, like this, nesul kibu. So sometimes happiness is more like kibu. Debo is more like good or comfortable. Lam debo doa. You don't say happy past, do you? No. Happiness, but there's also other words like, for example, prosperity. If you include everything, um, like everything is good, you've got enough food, you've got enough money, you, you're healthy, you're happy, then you can say prosperous. It's like Punsung Sokpa is also this other one. How you translate Punsung Sokpa? The Karakabrua. Punsung Sokpa. Everything is perfect. De lek. De lek tronkie. If you want to say city of happiness, okay. Tronkie is city or town? Or ah. Uh? Town or city? <laughs> What's the difference between town and city? One big, one small? You have hamlet, village, town, city. Right? Delhi is what? Yeah. Varanasi? Hmm. Varanasi Kari. Town re, city re. In England, there is a rule. If, uh, if, if there is a cathedral, Yishu, Yishu Lagan, Yerwa, Yishu Lagan, it's called cathedral, Chembo, not church, church Chung Dwa, cathedral like uh, St. Paul's Cathedral or Westminster. If there is a cathedral, it is a city. Without cathedral, it's not a city. Rere, di rurre, London is a city. Where I live is not a city. City, town. But generally speaking, city is probably, maybe you need maybe 100,000 people. Then we say city. I don't know. I would say Varanasi is a city. I think so. It's too big. It's bigger. Kandare, Chechung, Kandado, Wos, Dua, Mipo, Kasare. I don't know. So, Sunje, what does Sunje mean? What Sunje? Ah? Symbolizes. Symbolizes. Oh. Oh. Then I, 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 I,
appena doji era doji kare sungre so no what it symbolize what does it show what does it illustrate ah uh, sometimes it means show illustrate symbolize here what does it mean sunje sunjere depa dele tronge sunjere so sunjere so this word sun is quite difficult to uh, not always symbolize please not always sim- symbolize means the symbol you know a, a bajra is a is a symbol uh, yeah maybe it's a symbol but sim- a symbol is like om a om hum om you can say symbolizes uh, buddha's body a symbolizes buddha's speech hum symbolizes yeah buddha's mind that symbol like because this are yigi yigi like symbol but if it's something ngobangusu you know if it's something real it it not really symbolizes it illustrates or shows kare sungo dosu oh this in text you say did it did it sungyo did it did it sungyo so hmm okay try this first this first verse have a go make it nice and four lines uh oh, four lines is it you can do in four lines okay so take time work together help each other chiki chiki roba je translate title please pak pa kun chok ta la le sung le it is a prerequisite no i think prerequisite is better than preliminary if preliminary means mother creates creates children uh, produces creates produce or create is is okay produces well so faith is a prerequisite like a mother it creates or it creates like a mother not as please like and as are different like means double double re mean kagare yin yin double re as means chikre chik you know I see my enemy as a f- I saw my friend as an enemy. Mi chikwa. Mi chik tongsu. I saw him as as means there is only one. Like means there are two. Please, they're very different. Okay? Don't mistake. So, like a mother it creates. I think something like this you need something like this. The word create does not need object. in english a mother creates creates what a child but is not necessary faith creates faith produces like a mother this first line is difficult i think even in, in tibetan is difficult but uh, i think it's something like that then in the next line yunten tam se shung shing pelwa je the the subject is faith so you can the next line you can start with it meaning faith but the subject is faith the object is qualities the verb is sungwa and pelwa subject object mare subject verb object subject faith verb protect and increase object good qualities you are yunten tamshe sungshin pelwa je it protects yeah protects i think it protects and increases or grows or develops all okay i'm not so much worried about 
whether you choose develop or increase. What's more important is your the, the grammar in the sentence is important. It develops, it protects and grows all good qualities. The J the J after Pel means it makes it uh, uh, causal, right? Yeah. Dr. Selshi, it, again, it, it eradicates, eliminates, clears away, dispels doubt. Doubt you don't need, uh, plural, not necessary. Doubt or doubts, both okay, right? Eradicates. Eradicate means completely, you know, you eradicate. Some people said eliminate. Okay, that's good. Eradicate, eliminate. What else? Clear away, mm -hmm. it's okay. Dispel, all okay. You can choose which sounds nice to the ear. <laughs> Eradicate sounds a little bit like, um, a little bit too violent. <laughs> you know, if you have this, uh, uh, you know, these, these boo or mosquito or something and you psh, you are eradicating or eliminating them it's very strong and dispel means normally the word for doubt is dispel dispel the doubts okay then uh, huh? oh yeah yeah uh, it, 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 it rescues or saves rescues from there. This is difficult because then we need object, right? It saves what? Saves us, huh? If you want to not use and there is no object here. So we can't say saves us. Sentient being we best best to leave it. So we need a verb that does not need an object. So rescue and save is okay. It saves from the river of suffering. It rescues. It's a little bit strange in English because you, normally you rescue who? You need a you need object. It rescues us. Maybe you can put us in if you want. But then you know this is, these are the words of the Buddha. So you're changing the words of the Buddha. I don't know. So rescue, save. Any other word? No. Rescue, save, okay. From, uh, what do you say? Sure, the, river. sure, the rivers. Some people put stream. Stream is good, yeah. I think here you need to put footnote and say, the, the rib, what are the rivers? You say footnote. Sure, rivers probably refers to the four sufferings or to afflictions and obscurations. You say probably, because you're not sure. We don't know. You know, there's no, there's no commentary to this. Maybe there is a commentary somewhere. But anyway, we don't know. Oh, I think I have seen a commentary. I can't remember what it says. Anyway, re then last line. Depa Deleki Trongkir. I would say faith shows the city of happiness. Then it's easy. Shows the city. Uh, why I say show is because... I think what it means is that if you have depa in your mind, then the city of happiness is tanyebu, you can almost see it. Tanyebu dua. It's, it's there. But it, it doesn't symbolize. It's, it's not a symbol, but it shows the way, like a, like a, it shows, like a, maybe, maybe samba here means like, um, demba, to, to show, demba, den, den, dengere, maybe, maybe samba means dengere. I don't know. This is translation from Sanskrit. So many of these suttas were translated in 10th century, and sometimes the language is a little different. It, as you know, it's quite difficult to translate texts that come from Sanskrit. Difficult. So I, I, I really don't know. Maybe I would ask somebody, what does Sun mean here? How? Deba, Dele Trongke, Kandasungri, how? Then maybe you get some explanation. City of Happiness. City of prosperity, I don't know. 
Happiness is okay, why not? Delek. Deba dan leba. Easy, yeah. Poetry. Oh, God. Go away. My wife from England. <laughs> Oh, we don't have time. Let us, we'll do this next verse tomorrow, okay? You, you look at, at home, I have a look. Papa and Yabba missing. Have a look at this at home, and we'll do this tomorrow. Um, but let's just try and do some more of Lamrim Chamon, right? I like to, in class, mix Ra. Sometimes this, sometimes that. Then can I knock him out Tar，起我是安阳不困了，也强，你们来的心，得灵嘛起，得灵咪起，得不？啊，顶个那的，接了，啊，可不？就等起码，等他把等汤匙看不得的，啊，OK。就等起码，等他把等汤匙看不拉
Okay, but keep on, Mare. And so forth. Shuk, engage. Shuk means to, in past tense, jukpa shukpara. Engage is good. Enter, but engage is good. Engage, yeah. You know, engage. Ga engage means busy, right? If you ring up somebody and they are talking, we say, oh, they are engaged. They are busy talking. So engage means doing something. You know, if you go on into the into, uh, on the plane or the train, the toilet is the toilet is engaged. Somebody is in there. They are doing something, right? <laughs> engaged. Engaged always means doing something. Busy, busy, busy. Engaged, engaged, engaged. Right? Yeah. So like that. It's good word. Shukpa. Shukyang. It will only be for the sake of this life. Chedu is used sake of. Chedu, chedu. For the sake of. Or dundu. Chedu. Sake of. Chedi but zam. Zam. Only for the sake of this life. And. Gewa chiche. Tu chongare. Gewa kari janayang. Whatever. Whatever um, virtue you create, you create virtue. You yeah, create. You produce, create. Here, yeah, not develop. No, no. Chabas, you create virtue. Then eh, to chore, meager strength. Now, chong means chong. You understand this with meager? This is American spelling. We spell M E A G R E. They spell M E A G E R. And there's different spelling. But meager is normally if you have, uh, if your food is only little food, you say, ah, oh, this is meager, meager amount, meager food. Or money, you say, ah, oh, it's only like 10 rupees, that's oh, just a meager amount. That's how it's normally used. Meager usually means not enough. Ra, chung tare. Miga. And so toa is strength, power. Now, there's a difference between strength and power, right? To a top and shuk, you can say strength, right? Sometimes strength and power are the same. Like nupa. Nupa means power or strength. It can be both, right? Strength. But power is, for example, uh, you know, a, a leader, a politician, a, a president. Konsu power yoro wa. Strength yo mare. No, strength mindo. Strength tedo Maybe they have strength of mind, but power means that they can do what they like. Wang. Usually power is wang. Wang jigdua. Chinese have power in Tibet. It's power. You know. So like that. So gewa has... Could have power? Is poss power is possible here? Because Gewa has power to create happiness, right? There's power. And also strength is okay. You know. Strength also means like, you know, when you're listening to the radio, the signal is not strong. We say, oh, there's, the signal has, is, is weak. Has no strength. I can't hear. So you could say weak. Virtue here will be weak. Little strength, meager strength, little power, anything is possible here. But, yeah, okay. Then, meager strength. De yang ne chu dik tung da delwe juk pes. De yang, furthermore, oh, moreover, moreover, comma, furthermore, comma, moreover, furthermore, chikware. So, ne chu dik tung ne chuba. Tikpa, Tungwa, Sum Dua, Sum Yorwe. So, this nature he translates as wrongdoing. Wrongdoing is, is a noun. It's okay. Tikpa. Tikpa da mi gewa suna keba ayu. Ah, Tikpa. Tikpa is kakeru wa. Eh, much air, puku, much air, tikpare. 
they say, Amma, I hear one tip. It's wrong. It's wrong, wrong, wrong. So wrongdoing. You can use this word wrongdoing. If I speak, it's nature. Six over in a minute, zoom. If I tell a lie, it's nature. Where? Nature dog do Yeah, okay. So wrongdoing is good. Now, nature. That dikpa, he tries to say dikpa as sin. Oh, many people, they don't like this word sin. But this is Christian word. This is Christian. They usually read, in the Bible, Migawa is sin. We don't use this word anymore, unless you are Christian. If you are Christian, then you say, I, I, today I, did, I committed so many sins, I did this sin. A Christian, the Christian catch it, tanye it. Christian may not sin the best tongue you are. But here, they have chosen sin. It's okay. Because, you know, in many ways, Nang Chu, Nang Yishu Chu, they both have Migewa. They both have Digba. So, how you translate Digba, honestly, really, there are many different possibilities. Sin is okay. Some people say non virtue. Some people say Digba is wrongdoing. And nature is something else unwholesome action. Some people say negative action. A lot of people use this, positive and negative action. But this comes from Western psychology. They talk about positive and negative. So it's using Western psychology, and some people use Bible language, some people use psychology language. So, you know, I'm not so sure about positive action. I, I, I'm not sh personally. I'm not sure. Positive, negative. It sounds like a, you know a battery. Positive, negative side. You know. <laughs> it sounds a little bit strange to me. Then, Tongwa. Tongwa is an infraction. Infraction means to break a vow. Infraction means to break. So if you break, uh, if you are a monk, a nun. And you drink, then you have broken a vow. Dongwarwa. Dongwa means to fall down. Some people translate this as downfall. That's okay. I think downfall is okay. Downfall. Ma tung tung sena ma ma sagra. Infraction means to break a vow. So it's okay. So then eh. Oh, got it. They are nature, tikpa, tongwa tang, jelwe chukpes. So, you know, you will say de la. What are we talking about? Oh, yeah. Chiwa mi takpa yakpo kare ma shena ma gomna. And then, whatever virtue you do, gewa chi jebe yang, whatever virtue you do, the mixra, mixed, jelwa, jelwa. Mixed with this uh, nature, dikpa, tungwa, dan, delwajubares, so delwajubares, you will be involved with. Delwajupa means involved. Involved means in two things, ra. I'm involved with something means mixed together. Delwajupa. It's okay, delwajupa, involved with. You could say also say engaged with or engaged together with, delwa, or connected with. Jelwa. Something like this. Engaged, involved with. And eh. Jukpa, Ngendru, Gyuta, Matebe, Kenos. Hmm. There. Ngendru, Gyuta, Matebe, Kumbutos. Kumbuto, Ngendru, Gyuta. Ta, Ngendru, Gyu, Ngendru, Gyu means. Cause of miserable rebirth. Ngendro, some people say bad rebirth. Some people say suffering rebirth. Here they say miserable rebirth. Ngendro, Rwa. Ngendro, Nyelwa, Yidak. 
tutro ti ngendro ba ngendro ke wa sana ke wa tiwa ama ke wa mendo ngendro gyo kos ta ma jeba kenos um so here ma jeba keno is double negative difficult not to be mixed with jeba wa so he says um it it would be rare rare sana kambo wa kambo Kenchok sum sana. We sometimes say the the rare jewels, you know. Kenchok sum. Kenbo toa rare, uncommon, rare, rare. And then this, um, it would be rare for these virtuous activities. Gewa, the gewa, not to be mixed. This is double negative. Dunda sana mixera. The jebare. When it's on a jabber, my jabber can't send a my jabber mare, my jabber mare, don't do We say double negative. Some copper he uses many times. Nick's team, my imba mare is no, uh, me chunga meba, meba me chunga, double negative. So, like this in English, also, it is rare, rare is negative not to be mixed. Please look at this. You have to use passive infinitive, to be mixed. Not to mix, to be mixed. Why? Because the virtuous activities are mixed with they are mixed with. Difficult not to be mixed with. You can say difficult. Difficult not to be mixed with. To mix is active. To be mixed is passive. This is a difficult construction, but just try and remember. Da. Kenos. Kelte. Jiten chimala mikne. Tutu chukyang. Even if. Kelte. Kelte. Kelsi. If. Rwa. Even if or if. Get there, eh? Jitin Chimala. How much you put Jitin Chimala? To future lives. La Mikne Mikne to to Chukyang. Mik Jitin Chimala. Mikne to to Chukyang. Even if you try to engage in practices directed. Mikpa is a directed. Mikpa. This word is. Uh, very common, isn't it? Mik mikte, semgi mikpa. Mikpa means focused towards, directed towards. You know, mik, mik yul, object, mikpe yul. So, mikpa, mikme ningje, mikpa. We say mikme, mikme, mikme sewa, mikme sewa. Un compassion without object. Mikpa is, is uh, you know, as a verb. To direct, to focus, as a noun, object of mind. It's a very difficult word to translate, but very common in Tibetan. Ra. Here means mik, jikten chimela mik, directed towards future lives. Ra, mik ne, tutu chukpa. Even if you try, da tutu chukpa is not try, do we? Tutu chukpa, chukpa is not Wrong is like a kiran ah. How are you translating? Tutu chupa. Ah, if you like, urge, ra, encourage, ra, marve. Ah, ah, encourage. Chupa sana kandina. Huh? Let, no, no, you, you, you're you saying, even if you are encouraged to, or you're urged to, or you try to, to try is okay. Try to, drupa, practice, then, Chine Rimgi Dubo Nyambe Chisuki Lelo Gogmi Nushing Nimuta Jemutanda Satung La Sokpe Namingi to Dawes Lord, this is me. Definitely me. Nimuk Sawa Tungwata Jemutanda Nimuk. Uh, they did it. 
So, Chine Kyan Chine Rimgi Jubo Nyambe Sena. Then you think. Even if you try and know you will not be able to prevent the laziness of procrastination thinking, I will do it eventually. That's sunny jigging, sunny, sunny digger. Didn't jig me, sunny jigging. I will do it eventually. Chine Rimgi Dubaresa Nyamgudu Rimgi. I will do it. Just lelorva. I will do it eventually. Eventually is, you know, not now. Maybe tomorrow, maybe next day, maybe next day. Chine, later. Rimgi dubo. Nyamba, you think this. Nyambe. That chisul gi lelo. That lelo sum dua. Lelo sum, the karina. Jawa nyamba la lelo. Chishu ki lelo. Shem? Kiru peleo? Ki? Ah? Oh, Daniel la nyamba lelo. Di? Chishu ki lelo. Sena? Procrastination. Right. Di procrastination do it. Procrastination. Long, sick ring bo. But it's okay. And if you want to put short, we say put off. Put off. This is kake in a put off. Put off. Postpone. Put off. You know, we say, don't put off tomorrow what you can do today. Don't put off tomorrow what you can do today. That ring jetubna jet. Sunny jigging. No, no, no. Put off. But, sick rimbo gonna? Mikashi sick rimbo la gabo yorwa. Not sick tung tung la gabo yorwa. Some people, they, they, if they use long words, then they are kappa. <laughs> Short words, then they are me palbo re. Dear mare. Dear mare. Sometimes short words are more direct. Katu as well. Lelo. But here, le, laziness of procrastination. Gong mi nubas, you will not be able to. Cut it. You will not be able to prevent the laziness of procrastination. Thinking, I will do this eventually. Thinking, I will do this eventually. You can put first or second. Here is second. But you can put it at the beginning. No problem. Even if you try to engage in practices directed towards future lives, you will thinking, I will do it eventually. You will not be able to prevent the laziness of procrastination. Full stop. It doesn't matter. Gorim de 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 gorim kayum and do gorim you can change. But laziness. That is agare. Laziness. We finish with laziness. Lelo. How you say lazy in kake lelo sigamedu akare? Oh n uh nyopto oh yeah nyopto nyopto ti marabe. Tim Tim Arve. Ti lazy mare. Lazy sana uh tan drin jig me as uh television talking in music la ta lega to go mare ti lazy to Okay, thank you. <coughs> so tomorrow we do this second verse and we we try and finish Lamran Chemo. Also we are going to do some from this book. Sangeki Namtar. Something from yeah, which he has. Okay, thank you. <laughs>